What if I told you that one of the best synths on iOS was not only 100% free, but that you probably already have it installed on your device? Hey, it's Patrick from the GarageBand Guide. In this video, I'm going to take an in-depth look at GarageBand's Alchemy synth. Originally a standalone synth app, Alchemy developers Camel Audio were acquired by Apple back in 2015. Shortly after, Alchemy was removed from the App Store, only to reappear in 2017, this time as a built-in feature in one of the biggest updates GarageBand had ever had. Now, despite being built into GarageBand, Alchemy is a fully featured, deep and powerful synth in its own right. you'll find Alchemy right under the keyboard instrument in the sound browser. Straight off, you'll notice it looks very similar to other touch instruments in GarageBand, with a few notable differences. Tapping on the menu at the top here opens a menu where you can select from the hundreds of patches available. We'll come back to this later on and check out some of the sounds available. I'll stick with this one for now. The transform pad is completely unique and probably Alchemy's greatest feature. It allows you to morph between eight sonic snapshots of your chosen patch. You can also drag the wee puck in between these snapshots as well, giving you even more fine control over your preset sounds. If you've found a patch you like but would like a bit more fine control, you also have 12 dials here that will control different effects depending on the patch you have selected. Moving the pucks on these XY pads allows you to change the parameters of the effects assigned to them. This is, again, preset specific, so you won't necessarily see the same parameters in different patches. Just a sec before we carry on, if you're finding this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you took a second and gave that like button a wee tickle. I really appreciate it. You have access to all of the same controls you'd find in other keyboard-based touch instruments, with the pitch and wad wheels on the left of the transform pad. On the left here, move the keyboard up or down an octave with these buttons. Activating the sustain latch control here will have any notes you hit play back constantly without you holding it down. 
This switches to a straight up sustain button in non arpeggiated patches. Bear that in mind. You can control the transform pad via your iPad or iPhone's accelerometer here or control certain parameters with your face with this button. No, I'm not kidding. You can control the way the keyboard works with this switch. Glissando means that swiping horizontally plays notes on the keyboard pretty smoothly. Changing this to scroll will move the keyboard higher or lower when you swipe. And you can slide smoothly between notes by selecting pitch here. Tapping the scale button opens a list of scales for you to choose from. Now selecting a scale changes the keyboard to show note bars in the scale that you've chosen rather than the usual black and white keys. You can change the size and layout of the keyboard by tapping the keyboard button. If you have big old sausage fingers like me, you might find a larger keyboard easier to play, whereas the smaller keys here might suit someone with skinnier fingers. You can have two split octave keyboards on top of each other here as well. You'll also find controls for adjusting velocity and key control. You can turn on an arpeggiator in non-arpeggiator patches by hitting this button. And by hitting this button you can then adjust the settings in the window that pops up. Finally you can play your patch with chord strips by tapping this button. It works just the same way as chord strips do in other touch instruments. Play chords higher or lower by tapping one of the five upper segments and play bass chords by tapping one of the three lower segments. You can use the autoplay dial to play chords and bass notes together or separately in a pre-loaded pattern. By default Alchemy comes loaded with hundreds of great sounding presets for you to get to grips with. You can add dozens and dozens more by downloading sound packs from GarageBand's sound library. To get to the sound library, tap this button in the top left of the screen to open the sound browser again, then swipe till you see sound library. Tap to open it and you'll be greeted with a selection of sound packs and producer packs. Tap on any that tickle your fancy to see what comes with that pack. This Alpha Waves pack comes with 50 Alchemy synth sounds and some Apple loops. If I then tap Get, the contents of the pack will be added to GarageBand. Eventually. Some of these packs are quite sizable, so make sure you're leaving enough time for them to actually download before using them. To access those sounds, head back to the Alchemy synth Tap on the Presets menu, then tap on Main Categories. Tap on Recently Downloaded and then on the name of the pack you've just downloaded. From here I can access all the sounds that came with that 
pack specifically. Alchemy is definitely a bit underrated in the iOS music making world. It has a great balance of brilliant, deeply customizable sounds while also being really easy to get the hang of. Much like GarageBand itself actually. Speaking of which, watch this video next to find out how you can use GarageBand for iOS to its full potential. <laughs> 